everyone. I'd like to introduce you to the Richard Waste Pack by OO Creations. Some of you may refer to this as a fanny pack, a bum bag, or a hip bag. However you refer to this, this is a bag that is worn around your hip. However, I know many teens like to wear this across their chest. You can sling it over your shoulder, however you like to wear it, but it is intended to be worn around your waist. It is a great little bag, fits a lot of items inside, so let's show you some of the features. First thing you'll notice on the front is this flap. The flap opens up and you have a pocket on the front, a little slip pocket, perfect for slipping your phone into or any other items that you need to grab quickly. You can even put sunglasses in there. On the back of the bag, we have a zipper pocket. Again, another great place to maybe put a phone or anything else that you want to stay close to your body, such as some credit cards or debit cards or cash. The interior is very roomy. This can actually fit a water bottle, so I'll show you with mine. So this fits a water bottle, as you can see, with lots of room to spare. So open it back up, there's lots of room. This is a Contigo water bottle, uh, 24 ounce from Costco. So it's quite a big water bottle, it fits lots of items in there. You can also place your wallet in here and any other items that you need to take with you on a day out. Perfect little fanny pack or hip bag or bum bag or waist pack. For this one, I used webbing when I made this. And if you purchased the pattern or if you have seen the other videos on my YouTube channel, I did do a, um, a video tutorial for making this bag. And this is the bag I made while filming the video. So I used webbing for my strap. You can use quilt cotton. I'll show you that on another bag that I made. This has very little hardware, just this parachute buckle and a strap slider. However, if you don't have a parachute buckle or a strap slider, you can actually use a D-ring and a swivel hook and then just your regular metal slider here. So you would attach it all the same way as you would. So you would attach the D-ring to your strap connector and then attach your swivel hook and your slider as you would with this parachute buckle. So you use the same instructions, you're just using different hardware. Gives another option for those who can't get these parachute buckles. Just gives one extra option for using hardware that you may even have on hand. So that is the one that I made with the webbing. I also made this one with a double zipper hole. So this is great for closing whichever way you prefer. Some people like to close it to one side, some people prefer the other. Having a double slider means you can close it whichever way you're most comfortable with. The other one I made, so same thing, front pocket, zipper pocket so this zipper pocket here i used a number three zipper on this one i used a number five zipper it's the same method you don't need to change anything you sew it all the same it's just a personal preference on what zipper you want to use i wanted my zipper to match the zipper on the front of this bag so that's why i used a number five here but it's interchangeable you can use either or so that's how it looks with the number three the inside is the same thing very roomy in the video tutorial for the bag, I do give some extra options and some extra tips as well for making this bag. You'll notice with this bag, I used quilt cotton for my strap. The instructions are given in the pattern as well for using quilt cotton. So that is how it looks with quilt cotton. This one is done in mostly vinyl, so vinyl on the back, top, and the sides. This one is canvas with vinyl on the sides, top, and the back is also canvas. So lots of options. You can use any fabrics or materials that you really want to use. The choice is yours. They make a really great bag. It's a really quick sew. I can sew one of these in about two hours. Quick sew, again, not a lot of hardware, not really a lot of pattern pieces. You'll really enjoy making this and anybody you make this bag for will really love it, especially because it is very roomy and you can fit a lot inside. So this is the Richard Waste Bag by OO Creations. You can purchase it on our site. I will post the link down below. I'll also post the link to her Facebook page and her Sewing OU Creations Facebook group, which you can join. And if you make a Richard Waste Pack, don't forget to post it there. So this is the Richard Waste Pack again. I hope you enjoyed this little introduction video. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye.